The life I had before art saved my life. There's no other way to put it than that. Without art, I wouldn't be here today. The life I had before art, I was incredibly frustrated, angry, depressed. I became non-verbal. I was not talking about my, my problems, the things that were troubling me, the incidents that were occurring quite frequently, the meltdowns, the head banging, the self-injurious behavior. And it was my carer who placed an A3 pad in front of me and said, OK, if you won't talk, draw. Draw what you feel. And that was on December 23rd, 2016. And since then, every day I've drawn or painted as a, as a form of therapy. My first drawing is the one that I'm really, really fond of because it means a lot to me. It's a self-portrait where half of my face is normal and the other half is um, it's just bone and um, skeletal features because that's how I was feeling at the time, dead, useless to the world, um, like I didn't want to be here anymore. It's, it's like there's paint running through my veins now. It, it, it's just how I live, work and breathe now. It was a very, very long fight to get my diagnosis because it costs a lot for uh, the local CCG, the clinical commissioning group to fund it. I remember the psychiatrist placing a, a box of tissues in front of me. I just sat there with a, a huge grin on my face because I felt vindicated. Stories like mine, sadly, are very, very common. A diagnosis opens you up to a lot of services and support that can help you. As for the label Asperger's syndrome, I wear that label very proudly because it explains a lot of who I am and why I am the way I am. <laughs> I've never had an experience like that before of seeing my work on display and people actually stopping, looking, and that's when they would talk to me as well. I hope that my work and the story that I tell with my work um, inspires and motivates others who are looking for a way to express themselves.